We have a large area of dust headed our way this week, but I also want to show you a big area of rain that's going to build and something I'm keeping an eye on as we get closer to the hurricane season. Plus, speaking of the hurricane season, I want to show you the much warmer water temperatures. There's been a change in that. I'll show you that in just a second. Now, right now, we still have that stream of moisture near the British U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, back toward the United States, especially Monday and Tuesday. There's going to be a severe weather outbreak. I'll show you that as well in just a second just a moment from Texas swinging up to the north. Now look at this change in the water temperatures. Of course, we've been warm around the Caribbean and we're getting warmer. Water temperatures 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, 83 to about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. But look at this change over toward the bay into the Gulf. You see this yellow shading right in here, 26, 27, pushing 28 degrees uh, Celsius. So we have water temperatures now in the 80s right in through here. And here's the Gulf Stream, which is a warm water current that rides up near the Bahamas, Florida, in the southeastern United States, you now see yellows with it. This is a sign of those ingredients for hurricanes as we get closer to the hurricane season that are building. You can see right in here, some of those water temperatures are running now in the uh, low 80s, right off the coast of Florida near the northern Bahamas. So setting the stage for the potential of development down the road. This is how this goes. Not seeing any signs of that right now, but I do want to take you out on time here. So thank you for your patience. I want to swing you into May and show you what's next. And then I'll show you this big dust plume that's moving in. Eastern Pacific side, keeping an eye on this, the hurricane season starts here earlier, May 15th, because water temperatures are even warmer in the Eastern Pacific this time of year. Now, on Wednesday, we're going to see some of that rain building in the uh, Eastern Caribbean. But what I wanna show you in a second is, we're gonna have this big dust plume moving in. It's gonna squash some of that rain. I'll show you that in just a moment. But either way, as some of that rain develops, still these big fronts in the United States moving from west to east, and that grabs the moisture and kind of pushes it off toward the east. Now let's go way out in time here and get into May. Now once the dust relaxes, we're gonna see a better shot of rain. This is May 5th. Watch what happens May 5th into 6th. Watch with me. Look at this surge of moisture building again. So by the time we get deeper into the first week of May, and I was showing you this a few days ago, there is somewhere in here gonna be a big pocket of rain developing. The rain could be a good thing, help fill up the cisterns, some of us need the rain, but of course we don't want any development. I'm not seeing signs of development, but we are inching to the hurricane season, so I'll keep an eye on that. But either way, it looks like as we get uh, from the first week to the second week of May, a big surge of moisture right in through here. Still the big fronts in the United States that would still draw this over toward the Atlantic side. Now I mentioned the dust. Watch what happens this week. This is what's going on right now. You see here in the Caribbean, here's Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Barbados, Trinidad. Just to kind of orient you, here's the uh, Caribbean, Bahamas, right in through here. Here's Florida. And you can see uh, some of these colors on the map, lots of colors. This orange and red shading in here, yellow shading, this is dry air. Similar colors here, but me uh, uh, studying this uh, knows that this is dust. This is not, this is dry air as well, but there is dust mixed into this batch here. Here's the coast of Africa. This is the big pocket of dust, biggest so far this year. There'll be more that moves across. Yes, it does play a wrinkle in the hurricane season. If we happen to get a lot of dust in July and August, it could limit the number of tropical storms and hurricanes, which would be a good thing. We'll wait and see kind of how that shakes out. But let me show it to you moving in. So here's the Caribbean. Here's kind of the uh, bigger pocket of dust right, that I just showed you right in the Central Atlantic, more coming off the coast of Africa. I'll show you why this happens in just a moment. So let's go out in time here. We're kind of waiting on a uh, midweek. Now let's get into that as we work our way into Wednesday. That's when we're going to see some of that dust picking up in parts of the Caribbean. And with that, if you have any respiratory issues, any breathing issues anyway, uh, they could get worse. Any sinus issues as we get into midweek. So this here is Wednesday, and you see moving in from Dominica South into Venezuela, Trinidad, Guyana, Suriname, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, St. Lucia, Barbados. We'll see some of that dust moving in on Wednesday, right in through here. Now, let's go out in time further as we get toward the end of the week. This here would be by Friday. By Friday, we're going to see that dust stretching even toward Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, parts of Colombia, Venezuela, again, up toward a Dominica, watching near Guadeloupe and Martinique, and then another pocket of dust that may start to move in as we work our way into the following week. So, Wednesday, 
uh, kind of onward into the upcoming weekend, higher concentrations of that Saharan dust out there. And then after all of that passes by, we will be watching out for May. That rain I showed you on the backside of it by the first to second week of May, that's what we'll be moving in next. Why does this dust move in? Well, it's the global trade winds. There's a general pattern of winds around the world. That's the same reason we get tropical waves coming off Africa. Why the dust? Well, there's some deserts over here. Uh, and then with the global trade winds, when it's really dry, some of that dust gets picked up in the atmosphere and works across. Same reason we have those fronts in the United States that generally move from the west to the east and they kind of get picked up up into the uh, North Atlantic. Now, later uh, into the summer, and you get those pockets of thunderstorms with the daytime heating in Africa. And then we get those kind of marching across those tropical waves that will march across instead of the dust. So it'll be a battle of those tropical waves versus the uh, dust as we get into hurricane season. And I'll be watching out for any development. Now, what we've been watching out for, I'll show you some rain totals and the building seas in just a moment. But we still have that moisture plume that has been around. Watching out for some areas of rain near the U.S., British Virgin Islands, uh, over towards St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Anguilla. We've seen some of that rain. Antigua, Bermuda, that chances some showers as we go through the day. Some thunderstorms possible. Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, back through the Turks and Caicos. Jamaica, a couple days ago, we actually had a little bit of hail. That's ice way up above our heads. or some cold air way up there, and that actually uh, got its way down to the uh, ground. Now, as we work our way into tomorrow, watching out for Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia for some additional rain. But as we get into Tuesday, some spotty areas of rain, some thunderstorms over toward the Dominican Republic may lead to some flooding in spots, but we do have to keep in mind we're going to be watching out for the dust at this point. By the time we get into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll be watching out for that dust plume that will be moving in. Now, on the north side of this, here's Bermuda watching out for this rain as expected that has been uh, moving in for a lot of us. A little bit of snow trying to mix in too, kind of clipping by Bermuda with a chance of some showers. This area starts to work our way and then back to the west as you get over toward the United States late Monday, right in through here, deeper into Monday and Tuesday, looking out for a significant significant severe weather threat with some stronger storms, even a tornado threat into Tuesday. And we'll be seeing that uh, kind of this pattern that will go on into May with some significant systems rolling through the U.S. as that really spring into summertime pattern cranks up with some bigger storms up to the north of us. Now the seas will be building some. The Atlantic waters, Atlantic passageways out of the Eastern Caribbean will be choppier. Here's meters, here's feet to keep everyone covered. And then I'll show you the rain totals in just a second. Now this is today as we get into the week. Uh, this is Monday, watching the Atlantic waters. I mentioned that front that I just showed you slides by Bermuda. So elevated seas uh, near the uh, Bahamas as we work our way into Tuesday and Wednesday. This here's Wednesday. We have those elevated seas north of the uh, DR in Puerto Rico, but the seas will be building over toward the Bay and the Gulf as well as we work our way into Wednesday. And now the rain total is not very high. This front just clips by parts of Florida uh, into the Bahamas where we need to get some rain. Small chance of a shower storm especially later tomorrow, later on our Monday. But you get back toward uh, Cayman Islands, over toward the, uh, get over toward uh, Jamaica, a couple passing showers and thunderstorms will be possible. Better chance of some thunderstorms, not as much Haiti, a little bit more of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, and we could get some flooding. We've had that in a few spots in Puerto Rico, for example, and the uh, DR. So watching out for some totals with that chance of storms that could approach for a few of us, 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain, still that moisture plume around today. So we'll have some spots, Saba, Stasia, Montserrat, for example, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bart, that could get around 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. But then we swing to the south and we are generally on the drier side. Rain totals are not going to be high at all because most of us won't see some rain. It'll build a little bit parts of Guyana and uh, Suriname. Still watching near Costa Rica and Panama for scattered storms and still that flood potential parts of Colombia and Venezuela. But Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, parts of Mexico, we have been so dry. Northern Texas, Central Texas, uh, better chance of some rain with some of those uh, storms that will be sliding by. So about a 40 to 50% chance of some scattered areas of rain and storms for us in Jamaica. And you see about a 40% chance of an isolated uh, or scattered shower today in the Cayman Islands, but our rain chance does go down. We're only at a 20% chance on Tuesday. Trinidad, as I just showed you with the, the lack of rain totals, we are going to be mainly dry with that dust moving in by midweek. Same thing in Barbados and generally the same thing in St. Lucia, although we have an isolated chance of a shower. 30 
40% chance for today into tomorrow. Grenada were mainly dry as we wait on some of that dust, and we'll be waiting on the dust as well. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you see how limited that chance of rain remains. 30 to 40% chance of a shower in uh, Martinique, so rain chance a little higher the more north we go into the northeastern Caribbean. Dominica, for example, we have a 40% chance today. In the next couple of days in Guadeloupe, a 40% chance of a scattered shower scooting by. Antigua, Barbuda, again, we've had some showers nearby already uh, today, and then that rain chance will go down. About a 40 to 50% chance for today, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and we'll see some isolated showers to scattered uh, today in Guilla and St. Bart's. Let me know if you do get any uh, showers around 20 to 30% chance as a whole, but a better chance overall uh, today. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, we could get a couple showers. Puerto Rico, we're looking out for some of those scattered thunderstorms that can lead to some flooding in spots and some of that moisture as well, like we've had this morning around the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, that chance of some scattered showers. Bahamas, though, were mainly dry late tomorrow into Tuesday with the tail end of the front moving by. Slight chance of a shower with us. Turks and Caicos rain chance about 20 to 30 percent. We did have a couple showers around yesterday. Uh, the Dominican Republic, that's where we're looking at a better chance of thunderstorms and that better chance of flooding. 30 to 40 percent chance of the next couple of days as well as we work our way into Haiti. Belize, our rain chance stays low. There is a slight, uh, slightly better chance of a pop-up shower as we get into the week ahead. Aruba, we've had a couple showers nearby this morning. About a 20 to 30 percent chance Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. 40 to 50 percent chance in Guyana. A 60 percent chance of some rain today as we work our way into Suriname. It will drop off on Tuesday down to about a 40 percent chance in isolated thunderstorms the next three days in Cuba. Costa Rica and Panama, 40% chance today. Build some by Tuesday, up to about a 60% chance of rain. Nicaragua, the rain chance stays on the low side, staying on the low side overall in Honduras. There'll be a few showers around, but that rain chance is just not too high. Same thing, Guatemala and El Salvador, rain chance about 20%. Mainly dry in Mexico City today. By Tuesday, we could get a couple pop of showers. Yucatan Peninsula, about a 30% chance of a passing shower for us uh, today. Campeche over toward Merida, Cancun and Cozumel. Northern Colombia, rain chance about 40 to 50 percent chance you go a little more south. That's where the flooding is. Same thing as we work our way into Venezuela. And just keep an eye on that front clipping by uh, Bermuda. We get a chance of some rain. It wouldn't be all day stuff, but just watching these fronts moving by. So that Saharan, uh, Saharan dust plume, that gets close. It moves in midweek. In the meantime, the next couple of days, watching out for some areas of rain with isolated flooding with those thunderstorms possible. The Dominican Republic back toward uh, Puerto Rico in particular and still monitoring some of that volcanic ash, keeping an eye on the uh, Poas volcano over toward Costa Rica. Now, as we go throughout the upcoming week, I'll be watching the dust, but also some of the building rain. And as we get closer to the hurricane season, I'll be monitor things, uh, monitoring things very closely 35 days away into the hurricane season. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I hope you have a great Sunday ahead.